No, hello, hello. Everybody can break dance, yeah? Yes. <laughs> because yeah. that is necessary. Uh, hello. I wanted to say a few words. Was everybody at the main presentation? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I, oh, sorry. I can do this. Uh, I wanted to say a few words just to clarify, to make it very clear. Uh, Adidas, in the last little while, maybe years, has uh, realized there is very big problem with outsourcing. Uh, it is by design, it is by contract, it is by law, factories, that we do not actually have control of. They are very far away. This is the same for any multinational. The difference with Adidas is that we know it. And we address it inside and we speak uh, at lengthy, lengthy conversations in Herzogenaua about the big problems uh, uh, of many, many thousands, tens of thousands of workers suffering in the way that they do. We seek a solution. We seek a solution, well, we want a solution in real world, but we cannot have a solution in real world because it is the way the system of outsourcing works. We could perhaps, but we would go bankrupt. If we wanted to change all the contracts and subcontracts and sub-subcontracts, et cetera, and pay workers adequately, and recompense all the outstanding claims that already exist, which are tens of millions of dollars. We cannot do that without going bankrupt again. If you know history of Adidas, we went bankrupt in 1980s. That is when we were reformed to majorly outsource. So what we do instead is we create virtual world within Metaverse. We have heard of Metaverse. It is called Adiverse. And in Adiverse, the workers who are fitted with chips that measure work directly, that it generates a kind of blockchain instrument called Adicoin, which is the name of our company. Adicoin is spendable only in the Adiverse, which is good enough because that is the only place it needs to be used. And our workers are very wealthy in Adiverse and can enjoy life in a full way, like all of us. You'll come to Lisbon, one of the nicest cities in the world. They can go wherever they want to in Adiverse in virtual world. So what we try to do with this is give all workers who in real world suffer, many cannot eat one meal proper, good, healthy per day. Many of them cannot visit sick parents who are too far, they cannot miss work, they get tired. They cannot maybe even get pregnant, this is a fact of sometimes. Um, there are many such facts and what we give them in Adiverse is completely a different world from this. It is very many meals, very much travel wherever we want to, etc. Et so uh, that, is, that is what I wanted to say, that this is all we can do within the current uh, system that we are locked into, unless we go bankrupt. And we do not want to go bankrupt. And all of the companies which we are colleagues with, which we are brothers and sisters with, have exactly the same situation. They are locked into system uh, where that is made for them, of course. They are very happy this system exists, but they did not invent it. So if we want to change the worker suffering of Adidas in these various places, and I listed dozens of countries where we have factories, then we have to change entire system because that's just dozens of countries for us, for other, you know, and, and there are many thousands of such factories. We have to change entire system and it is not one company at a time. It is not enough. We have goodwill that is strange for a large company <laughs> of our size. We are primarily, of course, concerned with shareholder value like any company. We are betting against bets so that uh, this does not sink our stock, but oh, I do not think it will. So now we will, uh, uh, if, if Marshmallow would like to make any comments, this is our no spokesperson, as you know. Youth spokesperson. Good know. Excellent. I'll so, take questions, though. I'll take questions. I don't have much to say, but I'll take questions. Okay, yeah. Um, Me too. I understood that we are talking about a new platform in Metaverse in order to protect uh, workers, and it will be free of charge for everybody, or there is some kind of uh -huh. intention to earn money? Yes, no. It is not free of charge, it, but you can only pay in Adicoin. 
which is generated by workers in factory uh, as work. So it is not to protect workers, it is to give workers opportunity to live like human beings. Uh, for other human beings, such as you, you are welcome in Adiverse, but you must buy with, uh, what do you call it, fiat currency, uh, Adicoin, uh, which is only generated by the labor of Adidas workers. Currently Adidas, we are happy to open it if there are any other companies interested in, you know, we call it something else. We call it Adiniki, whatever coin. But currently it is Adicoin and you are welcome to buy it, but you buy it essentially from worker who generate it. So this enables the, the workers to make a little coin, a uh, fiat coin, real coin. Hey, Lars, Steve, can I talk about it a minute? Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Because I'm, I'm big into crypto, you know? I, 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 like, I like crypto, I like blockchain, I like the potential it has. And so uh, this is a whole new protocol. This is why I got involved. It's called proof of labor. As a worker works, they generate coin. They're mining as they work. So they get the implant, it tracks them, it tracks their labor. It's a smart chip. It's verified with video, live video on the factory floor, an AI that guarantees that only a worker can generate proof of labor. And they generate it when they work. And then they're the first ones to get the coin. They're like the founders of that token. Everybody else, everybody trades it, including me. We're the ones who make them rich in the Adiverse. And there they can get their heart's desire. They can do anything they want. If they're stuck at home, you know, the thing is, I got involved in this also because I like to dream. I like the idea of being in a dream space, you know? I, uh, you know about my Fortnite concert? Massive news, massive participation. Everybody danced all night in Fortnite, but those people out there in the rest of the world that could not connect were suffering. They can't connect because they don't have the money. Well, if money isn't going to solve their problems, maybe there's a Bitcoin instrument that can, a crypto, Adicoin, a crypto they can earn by working and spend in a virtual world. Now, I would like to see my colleague over here come up with a way to actually get them paid as well, but well, I'm going to do what I can because I know how to party. <laughs> we and I, we're going to work it out. Yeah. And, you know, we would very much like to make their lives better in the real world. But if we pay the workers adequately, as I think you, you know, we know, it will bankrupt us. And so what we, and by adequately, I do not mean, uh, you know, like you. I mean, uh, adequate uh, pittance, let's, let's call it. What they can have in, in Adiverse is beyond any of your dreams. It is wonderful. And I have been there. Many of our middle level managers have been there. And uh, what is there is wonderful. So I think that, uh, you know, they will, one day perhaps outsourcing system will not make company bankrupt that wants to go outside and make assurance. You know, there's, uh, we, we, we broadcast to world, yeah, we have, so we have plan, we look at all factories, we make sure they're okay. That is not possible. It is simply not possible. We go there, it breaks our hearts to see what is there. It breaks our hearts to see how our workers live. But we cannot do anything about it. As I said, we have contracts with these places who have subcontracts. To get out of contracts would bankrupt us alone, let alone to assign managers to each factory. So what we are doing is good. And I think Marshmallow agrees. And I think The idea is, is to cut their ties, right? We're going to cut their ties, to cut the ties that bind them, cut what holds them down. And that's why I wrote that song, All Day I Dream, that we played today. The lyrics, All Day I Dream, about back pay. It's about right? living in the Adiverse. You can go ahead and you can live your dreams, even if you don't have the money to do it, the fiat currency. Hmm. Because we can solve this problem in cyberspace. As you call it. Crypto space. Did you have a question, sir? There is a question there. Ah, yeah, yes. you mentioned that uh, What's everything your name, is sir? Uh, Nicole, uh, everything is uh, being outsourced. Um, yes. So how do you manage to onroll workers and to install all the infrastructures to track 
the fact that they're working making a chip so yes. how is it working that is done by a tiny chip which is implanted uh, humanely uh, in the location of the worker's choice but in in some part that moves during the work and it is not difficult to do this there is uh, the motion there is the motion which is known to produce things you know there are certain series of actions which a muscle must take and then there is after that there is a uh, a camera it well, easy to install to have cameras all of these places already have cameras everywhere to make sure that workers are working but what this adds is the amount of labor the amount of motion the amount of production that is visible in and tracked in various ways this is just an additional track uh, an additional me method which was really at the workers uh, requests our our workers requests I mean the mid-level managers of Adidas they said we need to be able to because they are currently inhabiting Adiverse so you need to be able to know how much we make so that you can pay us in Adicoin and we think this will be demand of workers in factories as well and when how do you manage privacy if they have a, if they have a chip inside separately how do you manage their own privacy and the data uh, we turn it off after they leave work it is entirely for work it is not for for home the chip is really small. It's a ladybug chip. That's the trademark ladybug Intel chip. And I had three installed in me because I wanted to test it. When Jen told me about it, I was like, hmm, bring it. You know, I want to see what happens. I mean, I also wanted to generate some coin myself, but I was like, I'm, I'm going to volunteer for this because it sounds like the future. This is one of the reasons we work with Marshmallow. He is up for everything. Let's go to our next question. Hi, sir. Um, the question is, if the, the people that are working in those factories doesn't have money to, to eat, how can they have money to have a device to connect to the metaverse or the knowledge to go to an exchange and exchange Adicoin by Cortex or? No, that is excellent. Uh, we have a team of experts which works with factory managers to ensure that uh, the second question that they know how to access their currency uh, and they can access it through the factory office there is an office uh, where there is room for up to 10 workers to enjoy and there is machinery you know if you call it headsets uh, there is in each factory there is a room it's not as big as this but it is adequate uh, especially since you know it is virtual so uh, we are coming to a place soon where they will have it be able to have it at home they will be able to purchase via Adicoin the device as well but that is in very near future currently there is a room you know it is not yet even deployed into these factories it, it, it is uh, it is next week but uh, th there is a room where they can currently enjoy everything let's go to our next question here Hi, uh, Ricky from Tech Informed. Uh, sounds like an amazing idea. It sounds quite revolutionary. My concern is, uh, how do we ensure that this isn't being used to then track employees' output and won't, won't have any repercussions on their, their positions and their jobs? Uh, it is being used to track output, of course, because it is what they do right, to, to earn the currency. Our, our bet is that it, uh, their desire for the coin for a life in Adiverse is sufficient. Yes, follow-up question. I guess what I meant was it's not being used entirely just to, to earn the coin for them. I'm, I'm wondering if it's also going to be used, like for example, if workers aren't working as hard as other workers, is that going to put their jobs in, in jeopardy? Adidas has entire uh, access to it, and it's protected by, uh, you know, I'm not technical, but many layers of privacy and AES encryption. AES-128 encryption. Encryption is the word I was looking for. It is protected from, we only, Adidas has access to that. It is the only thing, really, that we have access to with these workers. Again, they live in this factory. They are entirely managed by the factory separately. It may not even be the factory that we contract with. It may be a subcontract or a sub subcontract. So we do not have any other connection with these workers or way to ensure that everything is okay. But with this, we see, okay, you have mind, you get 
x, you do what you want. And they, they can enter the Adiverse anyways for free. It is just for spending, for buying things. You know, everybody wants an avatar, a, a nice one. Uh, all the objects in the metaverse, so. Yeah. Also, it's a little easier. You don't need a wallet. You don't need a separate computer. You don't need a Coinbase account. It gets stored on the chip. It's tracked. It's stored for you. You, you have your own wallet. I got three wallets on me right now. And you know the, the system's totally new, but I'm I'm generating coin as a you know early adopter, just a, a sample group, and I spent a little time in the in in the Adiverse that you saw today, and man, it's fun. You know, there's a bunch of other early adopters in there too. The workers aren't there yet, but people are doing all kinds of crazy shit in there, and it's really fun. So I think when the workers get to experience uh, the kinds of things that we experience in real life. But in the Adiverse, people are going to be a little bit happier. And you know, you know my song with Bastille. Happier, right? We want them to be happier. That's it. I want them to be happier. So that's why I'm involved. I'm also involved because as an influencer, you know, you feel like you sign contracts, you're starting to make big money. You know, you have to start criticizing yourself. You have to start criticizing the system. You have to start looking at who has stuff and who doesn't and start acting on it. Those Cambodian workers who owe $11.7 million by Adidas, I'm like, I'm gonna sign a deal with, with, with Adidas? I better fucking think about them, you know? Yeah. Think about what they're gonna get. You have influence, that's why you're called an influencer. And this influencer chooses to use his influence to affect something. Now, we as a company would like to influence, you know, the changing of the entire outsourcing system. So that is our attempt. All day I dream about back pay. Yeah. All day I dream, all day I dream. I dream each day about back pay. All day I dream, all day I dream. I dream each day about back pay. That's that refrain. Let's go then to our last question of the day. Hi, my name is Fie. Um, I wanted to ask Mark Knowles, that's okay. Um, as a DJ and producer, how did your interest in this matter come up? How do you coordinate these two universes? Well, some people turned me on to a thing called the Clean Clothes Campaign. And they've been advocating for workers' rights. You know, I started getting concerned about fast fashion. People were telling me, that shit you're wearing is destroying the world. And I, I was like, what do you mean? And I got into it a little more. And I found this group, the Clean Clothes Campaign. I started looking at their literature, and I was like, holy, you know? I dropped the F-bomb a few times over that. <laughs> Not in this press conference, though. I'll just say shit. I think you're allowed to yeah. say shit. Okay. Well, it was fucked up, okay? Fucked up. And I had to do something about it. I was like, this, fuck this shit. Fuck this system. I'm going to fucking do something about it. I can't deal with this anymore. I can't just live behind this mask and go to these virtual worlds, go to these parties all the time, and just, I, I had to fucking do something. And I hope that all the kids out there, because I know most of you are over 25. Everyone under 25 knows who I am. I mean, not everyone, but everyone who has internet access. <laughs> if, you're, if you have a TikTok account and you're under 25, you know who I am. Most people in here probably don't know who I am. That's the way the world works now. But all of us young people, well, I'm not that young anymore, but all my fans, they're going to they're gonna have to deal with this shit. They're going to have to deal with the unfairness of the system. Right? They're going to have to deal with all of this iniquity. They're going to have to deal with all this conflict. They have to inherit this world. That's why I dream. And I'm going to start with something easy, because I wear this stuff. So I'm going to start with clothes. All day, all day I dream about back pay. Let's get those workers paid. And then let's live the dream. You know, let's start there and move out. We will do our best. We're going to do it, right? Yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, you know, again, if you have any specific questions, if you would like to get in on the ground floor, as they say, uh, if you are especially, well, if you know any companies, any uh, company representatives who would like to join Adidas, we cannot do it alone. We are doing it alone, but you know, eventually perhaps there will be another large company that would like also to make an effort of some sort. So here we are. Thank you. Thank you.